All right, friends and neighbors, welcome back to another networking video. This is going to be the first video in the Packet Tracer series, and it's designed to just give you a, uh, a quick look-see or a quick uh, uh, sort of tour around the Packet Tracer interface. Now, you could do the 10-hour uh, Packet Tracer series, and I'm sure there's lots of other things out there, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and take a tour anyway. So the assumption for this particular video is that you have gone out to the the site here and picked up your copy of Packet Tracer. And so having done that, now you'll have to create an account out there and then and then after you after you do that, you get the download for Packet Tracer and then when you want to use Packet Tracer, you'll go ahead and, you know, start it up and then log in just as I'm going to do here. All right, very good. So this is the typical interface that you're going to be faced with. Every once in a while, you'll have, you know, sort of this picture. And what I'm going to have you do, and what we're going to do for most of these, is we're going to use what we call a logical view. And then we're going to be selecting various objects from in the interface here. Now, for the most part, what we're going to need is the stuff down here in the bottom left. Every once in a while, we use these guys down here in the bottom right. And then, of course, we've got a couple of menu items up here. So uh, let's go ahead and, um, and and take a look around, right? So if I, if I click here, I've got networking devices. And then down here below that, I've got routers, switches, and then a couple of other collections. I've also got a selection of kinds of endpoints. So we're going to be using, obviously, lots of PCs in the connections. And then for this class, and for a lot of the videos that I do here, we'll be using these guys here, which is all of our connection types. And really, most of the time, we're going to be using this one right here. So if we just show how this works, right, if I click on a router and then I pick one of the routers from here, one of my favorites is 2011. We can plop it on the screen. You can do a drag thing if you want to. And then um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and select another kind of device. We'll do 2960. And again, we can drag one out there. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll throw a couple of PCs out here, right? So that was that would be how I would do that. Now I can, if I want, if I said, oh geez, I don't need all of these devices, if I wanted to pick a particular one, right? You can see it's sort of grayed out here, but I can also sort of highlight it. And then you can either hit this guy here, delete it, or you can just hit your delete key. And that gets rid of the device. I sure do. Now you can also select more than one device. It once, oh, by the way, once, I'm, once I've got the delete key selected here, I can just go ahead and click on things to get rid of them. And if I go back and select, you know, back here with my pointer, all right, um, I can select several devices for deletion, sure. Okay, and I'm left with one lonely PC. If I hit the escape key, that also gets rid of this particular one. All right, so let's go back and uh, grab a couple of PCs. We'll put them out here, and we'll get our networking devices here again. And I don't know. Now, one of the other nice things is that once you've got your interface, you know, built here, let's go ahead and select a couple of. Uh, we'll do some connections here. Now, when you select, when you have a connection, what it wants to do, right, is uh, connect from one device to another. Now, when you click on a device that has a port on it, you're going to be asked to use a particular port. Now, obviously on a PC, right, so now I've got my endpoint connected. Now, on the PC, I've got to go to another device. Now, a switch has a lot more ports, so maybe I'll select one of the low-numbered ports. And then I'll do the same thing going up here to the uh, the routers. Now, what I like to do when I interconnect devices, I, I like to have a standard. So I use low numbered port for hosts and high numbered ports for um, other devices. Now, here's my router. Notice that I've got a completely different set of ports here because it's a router. Typically, they have fewer ports, although that's not always the case. And I'm going to go high in the range again, and then we'll connect back to our PC. All right, so that's how I would go ahead and, and connect to a particular device. Um, now there is one other 
one other handy thing that I'll show you, particularly when you want to, uh, you know, have a, a topology that's labeled. A lot of times you go and you say, well, I built what I wanted, but geez, they're, they're sort of all over the place. I don't know where I want them to be. You can click and drag them anywhere you want them to be. So maybe I'll do something like this, right? And, you know, be consistent. We'll do like this. And if we take a look here, we can see there's a couple of other um, items in the on the topology. We can see we've got some green arrows and we've got uh, red arrows. Now the green arrows, that's pretty straightforward, right? The link is up. And that sort of makes sense to you because PC links and switch ports, they come up automatically. You don't have to do anything to turn them on. Routers are different. So router interfaces have to be enabled. So when you're building something and you see you've got red arrows out there, well, that's an indication that you forgot to turn something on. So the minute I was to fix that with this particular router, well, then my interfaces would come up. Now, I'll show you another thing here. If you mouse over something, it shows you what ports you're connected to. And that can be very, very handy if you've forgotten what you've done. Now, um, the, the other thing that's nice is that we've got this sort of note card here. So if I wanna put a note somewhere, that helps me out with what I've done. Let's say that I want this side to be the 182.168.1.0 network slash 24, for example. And then over here, I could do 182.168.2.0 slash 24. Now, if you're just watching this and you don't know a whole lot about networking at this point, don't panic. Um, we're, these are just examples, right? I could put notes here anywhere I want there. Okay, so I can do that. Now, if I select it, it turns out that the, the items here, I can move them anywhere I want to. So if I don't like where I place them, it's the same thing as any other object. Okay, so they're, you know, you, once, you're, once you're on the selection, you can edit them, you can click and hold and move them around. So that is a very handy part of the particular interface. All right, I think that'll do it for right now. On this particular video, we'll do another one with a basic topology build here in, uh, in our next, next video. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and may your packets always reach their destinations.